And so here we are at the very last stage of the accounting cycle. So the very last step we're going to learn how to do today in this lesson. What we've got here to illustrate um, not only what you need to do, but why it's done is a trail balance. So this is, remember, we've spent the whole semester so far just learning about a simple service business. Um, this is a trial balance. Notice it's after adjustments, but before the very last stage, closing entries, which is what we're going to do now. And it's at the end of the year 2018. And here's all of our accounts, debits and credits, they balance. And what we're going to do right here is we're going to journalize what are called closing entries. And we got a couple T accounts over here just to indicate what's going on. And before we go any farther, we're going to talk about the purpose. The purpose of closing entries is because if you recall, early in the semester, when you first started learning about accounting, we just, we didn't have a capital account like this. We had a, we just called it equity. And of course, if you recall, we broke it out because that wasn't good enough for tracking performance and being able to monitor and tell people how you're doing. In other words, you can't tell people from year to year what your salary's expense is if you're not tracking salary's expense, if you just plop it all into one account called equity. And so we broke it all out. And, and, and in reality, what you have to understand is that all of these accounts are equity accounts. They are the things that change your wealth for one reason or another. So these, so here's our starting capital plus any new investments, but all of these then are things that make equity go up and down during the year and sort of gauge performance. I mean, drawings isn't about performance, it's just an owner's cho choice to take money out, but the rest gauge your performance. And to, to measure that performance from period to period, which is usually year to year, you've got to start at zero. So all of these accounts from drawings down are what are called temporary accounts. And I'll change them so that they have a nice weird background color. All of these are temporary accounts. They have to be closed and reset to zero. And the value that is currently in them has to come out and get plopped back into the capital account so that when you start the next period, that value is updated. So it's a really simple process. We start by closing drawings. So there's three journal entries. Then we close our revenue and revenue related accounts. That's all of these, right? Sales discounts is a contra revenue. So those are the revenues. And then the last step will be to close these. So before we start, let's take a look at what's in them so you can kind of see the effect of the journal entries, the closing entries as, as we do them. So we're, we're gonna put the capital account first. So as you can see on December 31st, we have a credit balance in our T account for capital of 13,990. And that's our opening balance, which isn't really our opening balance. It's our balance opening on December 31st, I guess. And we'll start with drawings. So in there, we have a, a current debit balance of 750. There it is. So here's, here's what we do. Step one is close the drawings account. So we go down in the order of the chart of accounts. So step one, on December 31st, we are going to close drawings. To remove the value from drawings, which is a debit account, you have to credit it. Right, so you would credit drawings 750. And if you look in our drawings T account over here, we, we've credited the 750 and now the balance is zero. Where does that go? Well, it goes into the capital account like this. That's your closing entry for drawings. There's your journal entry. So we've take, credited out the value in drawings, so now it's zero, and we've plopped that those debits into the capital account. Because remember, drawings lowers capital. Here's the moment when drawings effectively lowers the capital account, when you close the balance in drawings into the capital account. So we debit the 750 into capital, capital balance goes down, 750. And that's, that's closing entries. You're just gonna repeat the process for each of the types of accounts. The next thing you close will be the revenue related accounts. So we're gonna close all of the revenue accounts to capital. So similarly, we've we've closed these revenue accounts. So we've we've debited out this revenue, miscellaneous revenue, and we've credited out this debit balance to sales discounts. And just so you can see over here for service revenue, we have a credit balance here in service revenue. So we have to debit 34,000 out of the service revenue account. So this credit and this debit leaves a balance of zero. But what we do in the capital now is we credit the net value, which is 35,400 in credits. And as you can look, and see in the capital account, we credit 35,400, and now all of these net revenues, basically, which was 48,000, sorry, 35,400, is now in the capital account, and it's gone up to about 48 or 49,000. The last step, again, December 31st, always on the last day of the period, we are now going to close out the last type of equity accounts, which are our expense accounts. Since they normally have debits, it will It'll be capital that usually comes first because we're going to debit that capital account 
for all of the debits that we're taking out of our expense accounts. And so now you can see we have all of our expense accounts and all the accounts that were debits are being credited and all the accounts that had debit balances or sorry, credit balances, right? Contra expense are being debited. So to illustrate, we can put in say a salaries expense. How about that? There's our salaries expense, had a debit balance of 13,000. So we credit salaries expense to take that value out. There's the credit posted into the T account and now the balance is zero. And the net value of all of these entries gets plopped into the capital account, same every time. That's why we have a debit here for our drawings a credit for our net revenues, and now a debit for our net expenses. And that's going to be all these debits, right, for all these expense accounts, minus this one credit right here, which we debit out to make, to, to make zero. And that leaves a net total of 17340 to balance the journal entry. And we debit that into the capital account. We post it in, and there's our new capital balance to start the new year with. And that's it. That's all there is to closing entries. The purpose is to zero out all of these temporary accounts and plop the net total of all of the value for all of them into the capital account. So it's updated to the new value and ready to start your new accounting period.